Hey everybody, I got a quick video here for you today. I don't have much time for YouTube, but I wanted to make this while it's still fresh in my mind. I made this video about a week ago. The Great Pyramid Shafts decoded the four pillars of heaven. And there is so much uh, ancient text about the four columns, the four pillars, the four this and that. And it is even represented in uh, tombs in the Valley of the Kings. Seti and a few others, they have four pillars right in their burial chambers. So what does this all represent? I think it is the shafts of the Great Pyramid. People have called these air shafts, star shafts, but sometimes mysteries aren't mysterious if you just read. And I think there is a perfect definition of what this is in the, perf in the earliest religious texts coming from the ancient Egyptians. I think these shafts are identified. Now let me read. This comes from the Papyrus of Annie, included in the Book of Coming Forth, better known as the Book of the Dead. This is entitled, The Chapter of the Four Torches, or the Four Lamps of Heaven, and it's about protecting the soul of Osiris in that final resting place, which is symbolic of the, really, the uh, King's Chamber in the Great Pyramid, representative of the Duat. Now let's read and let's identify these four shafts. It says, the chapter of the four lighted lamps, and those are the four shafts, which are made for the spirit soul. Behold, thou shalt make four rectangular troughs of clay. And troughs, troughs, that is a word that was uh, used as a description of the text in Egypt. What are troughs? They can be channels. That's a perfect definition of four shafts cut in the side of the Great Pyramid. It says, You shall make four rectangular troughs of clay, wherein thou shalt scatter incense, and thou shalt fill them with the milk of a white cow. And that is symbolic of the stars in the Milky Way. It says, The Oniris knew, Osiris knew, the steward of the overseer of the seal, whose word is true. The fire cometh to thy ka, Osiris Kentiamenti. And it goes on to say, It is set in order upon thy brow, O Osiris Kentiamenti. And who, Kentiamenti, what is that name? Is there a connection to Anubis? Well, I'll let you look that one up. It is set in thy shrine and riseth on thy brow. It is set on thy brow, O Osiris Nu. So where are these four lighted lamps, these four pillars of heaven? They are in the shrine of Osiris. It says this right here. That is the Great Pyramid. It says, It is set in the order upon thy brow. It is set in thy shrine and riseth on thy brow. And in the video on the Great Pyramid, I showed you how if the Great Pyramid represents the human body, the King's Chamber is the head, so the shafts rise from the brow. I just thought that was interesting to bring up. It says, The four fires enter into thy ka, O Osiris. And isn't that perfect? When these shafts come into these so-called symbolic tomb chambers or burial chambers, but they are really symbolic of the soul or the ka. Now it talks about the four torches. And it says, In the hands of four men who shall have the names of the pillars of Horus, written upon their shoulders, and they shall burn the torches in the beautiful light of Ra, and this shall confer power, and might upon the spirit soul of the deceased among the stars which never set. And it says, going on here, Thou shalt not perform this ceremony before any human being except thy own self, or thy father, or thy son, because it is an exceedingly great mystery of Amentet, and it is a type of the hidden things of the Tuat. When this ceremony hath been performed for the deceased, the gods, and the spirit souls, and the dead shall see him in the form of Kentiamenti, and he shall have the power and dominion like this god. And thou shalt say, I have come, I have advanced hastily. I cast light upon his life, footsteps. I am hidden, but I cast light upon his hidden place. I stand up close to the Tet. I stand up close by the Tet of Ka, of Ra. I turn back the slaughter. I am protecting them, Osiris. And it says, 
This chapter shall be recited over a tet of crystal, which shall be set upon a brick made of crude mud, whereupon the chapter hath been inscribed, Thou shalt make a cavity in the west wall of the tomb. Having turned the front of the tet towards the east, thou shalt wall up the cavity with mud, which has been mixed with an extract of cedar. Now they're talking about walling up these cavities, and that's exactly what is seen in these shafts. It says, Tet shall drive away the enemies of Osiris, who would set themselves at the east wall of the tomb. And going on here, it says, And thou shalt say, I have driven back thy foes, I keep watch over there. He that is upon his mountain, he that is upon his mountain, i.e. Anpu, and who is Anpu, that is Anubis, keepeth watch. Over there, ready for the mon moments, thy foes shall attack thee, and he shall repulse them. For there, I will drive back the crocodile at this moment, when it had attacked thee, and I will protect thee, O Osiris Nu. And crocodiles just re represented death, but if Anubis was right at the uh, shore of the Nile, protecting it from crocodiles, well that fits just perfectly. It says, <coughs> going on, this chapter shall be recited over a figure of Anpu, made of crude mud mixed with incense, and the figure shall be set upon the brick of crude mud, whereupon the chapter hath been inscribed, Thou shalt make a cavity in the east wall, and having turned the face of the figure of Anpu towards the west wall, thou shalt wall up the cavity. These troughs, these channels were walled up. Where are they? They're in the, really, the temple of Osiris, his shrine. That is the Great Pyramid. There are four of them. There are four star shafts. This really doesn't take that much to figure out. And it says, I am the belt of sand round about the hidden Kofir. I turn back the force of the blazing fire of the funerary mountain. So let's review here. We seem to have the earliest religious texts from the ancient Egyptians. The Book of Coming Forth which seems to have other hints about the early history of Giza. It says that there are four rectangular troughs or channels in the Temple of Osiris. That is the Great Pyramid. It says it is the funerary mountain which Anubis guards. That is the Great Pyramid. In the place of the hidden Kofir, of course, is the King's Chamber with a symbolic empty sarcophagus. It says these four shafts are symbolic of the four torches of heaven, which protect the Ka, or the soul, of the King. In the Duat, in the king's chamber, is representative of the Duat, according to the earliest text. These troughs or channels are walled off, and that is what we see. There are walls that separate or, or plug up these star shafts. Everything from that chapter of the Book of Coming Forth seems to describe exactly what we see in symbolic representation of Giza in the Great Pyramid. Those four shafts are the four lamps, or the four pillars, the four fires of heaven. They protect the soul. It describes it perfectly. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.